Hi again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Thursday, this is my bonus video for the week because a new patch has just dropped in The Sims and we have bunk beds. We have bunk beds. I, I had to jump in game and make some bedrooms because I was so excited. So what I've done is I've decided to create four separate bedrooms that are all the same size and use different themes and try and use the bunk beds in different ways so for example I've done a base game one I've done a pack restricted one and then I've done two where I didn't restrict myself with any items and then I've tried to use the double bunk bed I've tried to use a desk underneath one a chair underneath one I've really just tried to see what I can do with them and obviously this is only four but now that we have bunk beds in the base game, you'd best believe that I will be using bunk beds in pretty much all of my family houses from this day forward. So that is your warning. You have been warned. <laughs> I'm sure everyone feels the same way. I think bunk, bunk, bunk beds, <laughs> what are bunk beds? I think bunk beds have been long overdue and I believe they have been, apart from The Sims 1, I don't think we had them in The Sims 1. I could be wrong. I, apart from that, I believe we've had bunk beds in every single Sims franchise and so it's nice that we finally have it in The Sims 4. So this room, I kind of went for like a bluey greeny theme in this one and I believe this is the room that I used base game, parenthood and the kids room stuff. Yes, this is the room. So as I said, we've done one pack restricted, one base game and two where I didn't have any restrictions whatsoever just so that I can try and cover as much bases as possible. I also wanted to see how versatile the swatches were and what would work with what. So this is possibly one of my favourite, I mean I really like all the rooms but it's definitely one of my favourites <laughs> that I did and obviously we have new swatches of some of the base game artwork as well which is really nice and it's just what a, what a lovely update and I know we've had some updated hairstyles as well and I just, I'm all for this. I think we need to start seeing a lot more of this in the community where they're having a look at updating not only the base game but some of the packs as well. Enough if I <laughs> I will learn how to speak, I absolutely promise. So and if I'm not mistaken, I do remember when they put out a like a community, it wasn't really a poll, it was like a survey, and they asked us if they went back to have a look at different packs, which packs would, would we want them to expand upon so that would be nice as well if if you know they they did it just for example um island living or parenthood or cats and dogs or seasons like whatever it might be it's it would be quite interesting to see exactly what they've got what they've got planned and i'm also really excited this year to see what other packs we're going to be getting for this game i am hoping i'm really really hoping and there have been many hints about a generations pack so I, I'm manifesting so many vibes right now because I really want a Generations pack. We'll, we'll see if that comes to fruition. <laughs> but with this one, I went for very pastely pinky tones. And this is one of the ones where I did not restrict myself in any way, shape or form in terms of packs. And so I was just trying to work out which bunk bed I wanted to use. So we ended up using the same one, but with the bed underneath as well. So I thought that, I thought that, I just think it looks really nice. And then I did struggle a little bit with working out what I want, which swatches I wanted on the wall and which um, flooring I wanted to put down as well, which is quite unusual for me, especially with kids rooms. I feel like they come quite easily to me, but because it's not that I wasn't doing them organically because I was, but they're not part of a house. So I, I haven't ever, I don't believe, and I don't include apartments in this. I don't think I've ever put up rooms on my gallery page up for download. And I don't really know why. I know a lot of people that do. So yeah, I, I just think I just thought it might be just a nice idea. It's something a little bit different as well. And don't get me wrong, I'm gonna have so many more builds coming up where I'm using the bunk beds and so just keep an eye out for that on the channel. It's, it's gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing a lot of, as I said. So again, with this one, I just wanted to see what I could make work, not restricting myself, as I said, with any packs. And I am I'm really happy with how this one came out. I think it's really pretty, it's really cute. And I would love to have had a room like this when I was growing up. 
I'm not saying that the rooms, my bedrooms when I was growing up, they were so nice, but like this is just next level, isn't it? <laughs> so yes, but just, again, I, I try not to go too matchy-matchy with kids' rooms just because I don't think that's very realistic. And I'm not saying that mine don't match because they, in a way they absolutely do. I try and stick with a core. Does that even make sense? A core color, a core color scheme. <laughs> like a main color scheme and then I work around it. And then there are certain things I'll put in that don't really match, but that's more because, well, you know, like kids rooms, kids rooms are kids rooms, aren't they? You know, like they're not, kids aren't known for being the tidiest of humans. So <laughs> now I'm rambling on about pointless stuff at this point, I'm just completely rambling on. And this is supposed to be like a bonus video for you guys. So now I actually have an upload schedule on the channel. I'm uploading every Wednesday and every Sunday now. And this is a bonus one, as I said, because we got the new patch update and I just, I, I absolutely just had to dive in and and just have a play around with everything. And that's why you're getting, getting an extra video this week. And as always, you, you will be getting your speed build on Sunday as well. This isn't in placement of Sunday's build. So I really like how this room turned out. This room turned out to be really nice. And initially I wanted to put a toddler bed underneath and then I decided not to do that. So we ended up putting this really cute little chair underneath the bunk bed. Oh, look how cute it is. I mean, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I'm pretty sure the children can't use those little drawers underneath there. But who cares, right? They're just there for decorative purposes and because they're really bright and cute. And this little computer table from My First Pet Stuff, I feel like, I feel like I'm swearing when I say My First Pet Stuff. <laughs> um, I don't normally use it. However, I just thought it looked really cute in this room. Please, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. <laughs> so we ended up just putting that in the corner there with a computer on because I thought it, I just thought it looked really nice. And in this room, we ended up going for like a turquoisey, yellowy orange color scheme, which I really liked. I just think it looks so cozy and welcoming and like, uh, it just looks like a room that your child sims would, would want to spend a lot of time in. And I absolutely love that. So this is the second bedroom that I did not restrict myself on with packs. And then the, the fourth and final one, it will be the base game one. And I really actually like how that one turned out, to be fair. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did, but you, you will see that in just in just a moment. You, you hang fire there. <laughs> and again, you'll notice a general theme here of uh, I place pretty much the same items in each room, but mix them up so they're not all, always in the same place, if that makes sense. So I always put a wardrobe in, a bookshelf, a table with a computer on, a chair there are always rugs everywhere but that's because I always just put rugs in my houses anyway I tend to go like really rug mad I'll just be like what do I put there it's blank oh yeah I'll put a rug down even though I might have five other rugs in the same room like I don't care I'm just obsessed <laughs> completely obsessed with rugs so anyway yes and just speaking of bunk beds I know there are some rooting issues with these bunk beds we have some teething problems but they have assured us that they are working on a fix, so I'm not too concerned right now. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of expected it. Um, it doesn't mean to say that I'm not disappointed, because obviously I am, but I, I did expect it, so I'm not surprised. So, but what are your thoughts about bunk beds? Drop me a comment down below. I'm, I'm really excited for them. I think it's just a little taste of what we're about to see especially over the next year or two for The Sims 4. We have been told that they are still going to be producing content for The Sims 4, I believe for the next couple of years. They, ha they have confirmed, I believe they confirmed that on the live stream. So I'm very excited. I'm not ready for The Sims 5 yet. I still think The Sims 4 has a lot of promise left in it. And I'm, I'm just really excited for the future of it. So this is the fourth and final bedroom that we're working on here which is the base game only one and I really like how this one turned out so we end up putting a loft bed and then I end up putting another bed un underneath but I sort of turn it so you'll see in a minute and then I was I initially wanted to go for like a space themed room but I realized with the base game that would have been pretty hard to pull off just because I didn't think we had many space themed items now I could be very wrong with that I, I probably just haven't explored it as much stuff as I could have done so I ended up just completely changing the swatches and going in a, in a very different direction so what you're seeing here is nothing like it ends up being but again it's a process that's okay I I try and keep this stuff in my builds now because as long as it doesn't take me too far over 
I want to try and keep things quite concise because I understand that you guys have very busy lives. You, you don't have a lot of time to just sit here and listen to me ramble on about pointless stuff. <laughs> so, But I wanted to keep that in because I wanted you to see the process, especially when I'm building rooms because, again, it's not something that I do a lot on my channel or on my gallery page so it was quite refreshing for me this and I did have a lot of fun making all of these so if you do end up using them in your houses please let me know send me some screenshots I'd love to see your child sims having an absolute blast in these rooms that would that would make me so happy <laughs> so well you know adding a bunch of clutter I, I just love doing children's rooms I feel like this is where this is my jam children's rooms are my jam that's gonna be the end of that <laughs> so again as I said so this is very yellowy, bluey, orangey based as well. I'm sensing a theme here. I just think they're three colours that really go well together, but it's got a very different theme and a different vibe to the other bedroom. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. But we're pretty much wrapping things up here, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the patch as much as I am. Drop me a comment down below. What do you think of it? But I have uploaded all, all of these rooms to the gallery. My origin ID is Rachel Ped, so you can find them on there. I'll also link the tray files for, for each room down in the description below as well. And I think I've called them like base game and then the, the ones, the other ones are like coloured. So I've got pink, blue, and then I can't remember what I called the other one. Not very helpful. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like this video has been really all over the place. So if you've made it this far to the end, like, thank you so much. And thank you for bearing with me while uh, I'm trying to get to, to grips with my voiceover still. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm slowly but surely getting there. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining me here today, everyone. I hope you're having the most amazing day. And I will talk to you next time I post a video. Bye. Mm -hmm.